All right, moment of truth. The clamps are coming off. And now, if this is properly lined up, the measurements were good, it will... Oh, yes! Oh, yes! Oh, yes! The time is upon me to separate the two bearings in half. Roughly. Here's an old cut-off piece of plywood. That'll do the job. That and keeping my fingers far away from the blade. Success! Very nice. Let's go get these installed. All right, I moved out into the garden where I can get some nice fresh air and good sunlight. Arrange them both in the same orientation. I'm just gonna make sure that rotates freely. Uh, needed to have thought through this just a little more. All right, I'm gonna have to make some adjustments. Okay, tell you what, it's just a prototype. Not everything is gonna work out perfectly. We will do what? We'll power through it, adapt, and overcome. I'll just jam some screws in here where they go and give them a good pushing with my thumb. That's gonna leave a divot so that the uh, small drill bit I use next doesn't walk away. That should be adequate to get these back in their pointed holes. I'm just gonna give them like one turn each. Same on the back. Okay. We have a little bit of a stiff turning here. Just gonna loosen up on that side just a little bit. Still a bit on the stiff side. And this is where I'm getting eaten by the fact that the uh, the barrel is a little bit cockeyed skewed this way. Before I go any further, I'm going to put some oil in the oil ports. We'll see how that does. Howdy there. So I tried a whole bunch of different things to uh, figure out how to sand this down to something like round. What seems to work the best, I put a little bevel right here on this bit of spare plywood because it's flat, right? And then I can slide some sandpaper in over top of that bevel. And then as I push this in, well, you'll see. So I got confident that this is nice and cylindrical, measured the circumference, got an even measurement every time, that's pi times more accurate than trying to measure the diameter. I took some of this old liner, whatever this stuff is made of, some sort of foam that's uh, I guess normally used on the insides of drawers. The principle here is the pad should provide just enough give. I bought this oversized sanding belt, which is much more than I need, but I couldn't get the size I really wanted. But now I just need to figure out what's the right uh, trapezoidal shape I need. Not trapezoid, rhombus. Parallelogram. Yeah! So, 
All right, guys, here's the nature of the problem to be solved. I have a sanding belt that's four inches this direction. So I'm starting my measurement from the one inch mark because it's easier to see. So the one inch mark here plus 12 and 5 eighths is right about here. I'll give it a, a scoring and see if it needs another scoring. Anyway, that's my my angle. It's pretty good quality because it doesn't want to break off. There. there we go. Will it work? Because right over here, I'm just going to... So, it looks like about right, so... Yeah, let's go give it a shot. Alright, I've got this old cutting board that needs to be included and I need to re-flatten the back here. I tacked the corners with a what do you call those things? A little stapler. And we're going to see how this works out. Back. Something caught up. Okay. What got caught up? Well, it's doing great for flattening this thing. Oh yeah, that's beautifully smooth and flat. See? The trouble is, right here, I need to do something about that. So, I shall be back.